Stop recording. Checkbox checked. Hello, everyone. This is Vol for Life 8657. This is Tuesday, August the 10th. We are two days away from the Madden 22 trial. And there will be some Daily Blitz content. There will at least be... My goal is to shoot for at least three or four videos. I know Ultimate Team will have a new user interface. That will be something that will be worth testing. I know Franchise has new changes. We will also be testing that. We're going to be looking at the new home field advantages. Uh, listening to some of uh, testing the crowds that's something we've got planned trying to find some new accessibility features or improvements if there are any we will certainly be testing all of those out and then on the 27th or on the 19th I should say on the 19th of August a game that has been over a year in waiting it's been a year or more, or a little le a little less since I've last played this game, and I'm talking about the Veil: vale Shadow of the Crown. Let me tell you something: if you have not seen the trailer, go to FallingSquirrel.com and look at that trailer. It's far different than what it was, and it is going to be epic. Yes, I know the girl is blind. Yes, I know it's an audio game. Yes, I am well aware that I have said before that games that focus on that aspect or that throw the blindness trope out there shouldn't be made, but I'm here to tell you, this game doesn't do that. Yes, the girl is blind, but the, 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 the bigger focus is the fact that she has to fight for this kingdom, and I am very interested to see how this plays out. And I tell you something, I will be streaming this game on twitch.tv slash volforlife8657. I'll give you the link again at the end of this YouTube video, and I'll even post it in the description so that everyone has it. I, I encourage everybody to come listen. I hope to stream it. I've got some work to do on Thursday. That ends at 2, or that uh, that Thursday it will end at 2, I'm, I'm sure. Um, maybe I'll have Thursday off. I'll keep you guys posted uh, when I know that I have a time and everything. And uh, my plan definitely is to stream this. I've, I've been looking forward to it for months. And the Daily Blitz content will continue as well. I've not posted a while to you guys, and I need to ask you, what content would you like to see on this channel? I am prepared to revamp the entire channel and, you know, do games, do other things, because... I realize that the things I have been posting have not gotten a lot of uh, a lot of traffic and discussion, and I I need to fix that. I need to amplify that. So I stream on Twitch, and I know a lot of you guys like YouTube, and if you guys want me to continue to go there, that's fine. But a lot of my live streams are done with Twitch because I can implement the accessible chat that way. I can stream to Twitch directly from my console, uh, as long as I have the proper instructions. So I honestly am looking at those things as to why I use Twitch. You can't, you can stream to YouTube from your PC, but you can't get, I, I can't get the text chat to do what it needs to do. And I'm sorry about the noise in the background, folks, but I'm excited. This Thursday, Madden 22, August the 19th, The Veil, The Shadow of the Crown. November the 9th is also going to be a mark it down. November the 9th, 2021, that is also going to be a big deal. Forza Horizon 5. It is coming to Game Pass, and they have said, quote, Forza Horizon 5 promises to be the most fun, and the most accessible racing simulator for everyone, end quote. What does that mean? I don't know. There's not been any new updates in regards to accessibility, but I am hoping that not only will the menus be accessible, 
Menus are great, but if you can't play the game, what good's having accessible menus? Just like playing the game is great, but if you don't have accessible menus and you have to do fancy things to get around that nobody else has to do, then, you know, the shoe's on the other foot in that instance. But I'm excited for that release and the next and the other two things I've mentioned. I'm looking forward to bringing it to you. I know that the pandemic has caused a lot of strife uh, in in various communities, which leads me to this, and I'm going to end with this. Everybody around the time of fall and winter has to deal with this thing called the flu. Okay? Just just keep that in mind. We deal with the flu every year. When I watch my Tennessee Titans games play, I can't tell you how many advertisements I see dealing with the flu, dealing with Zika, dealing with that that's a mosquito, uh, a virus brought on by mosquitoes by the way apparently, uh, dealing with guns keeping them out of the reach of children, dealing with protecting the forest. I mean, do our are our Titans games sponsored by the US government? Does the US government have that much power and control? over our NFL material here in the state of Tennessee? I don't know, but that's the case. So they had this commercial, I think it was two years ago. Yeah, it was two years ago. We are in Tennessee. We've, we are the volunteer state. We stand shoulder to shoulder and we get our flu shots. That was the whole message is to get your flu shot because there's so many different strands. There's so many different variants and you need to be protected. Which tells us that the flu is still dangerous enough that people die from it. That we need protecting. Okay, that's logical. Lots of people choose not to have the vaccine, whether it's because they get sick from it, whether because they are very, very sore from it afterwards, whatever the case may be. That's their prerogative. That is their prerogative. If they catch the flu and something happens to them, guess what? It's on them, right? Right. But you fast forward to 2021. And it's gotten to the point where we are so divided. We are so divided as a as a people, as a nation, as groups. We're not standing shoulder to shoulder and doing this. No, 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 no. We are actually calling people who choose not to get the vaccine, whether that is because they don't feel it's safe, whether that is because they don't feel it's been tested, whether that is because they have heard of people who have had dangerous, dangerous side effects, or whether that is because they've already had the virus and they believe they have immunity. Whatever their reason is, I see people on the other side, I see this on Twitter, I see this on Facebook, on the other side, basically tearing these people apart. And I gotta tell you, it's not pleasing. And this is where I would normally, this is where I would normally say, You know, people need to wake up and realize what's going on. But, you know, first and foremost, I blame the media. I blame mainstream media for this. Because every single time you turn on the TV, and anybody who wants to doubt me on this, watch your TV. Watch your news networks. I turned on my... YouTube TV subscription. I get local channels here. And lo and behold, one of the first things I heard was that coronavirus coronavirus cases, yes, that's what they called it. YouTube, if you've got a problem with that, talk to WBIR. That's what they called it. But the coronavirus cases had gone down in Knoxville, but were mysteriously going up in other places. Hmm. 
I wonder. I wonder. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be publicly verbally castrated because of or based on whether or not I've been vaccinated. I don't want to be seen as public enemy number one because people believe that people who aren't vaccinated are not human beings. I've seen that. I have seen that on Twitter. The people ought to be ashamed of themselves for not considering other people that they are being selfish. Now, I'm sure, I'm honestly sure that there are some people who just aren't going to get vaccinated because they don't want to. I'm sure that there are. But for a lot of us, we have real doubts and fears and concerns that our government, despite its attempts to address them, we're not convinced. We are not convinced. Their best medical experts can't convince us. The CDC can't convince us. We don't feel it's ready. That's not to say that everyone feels that way. I don't blame people who have it or who have gotten the vaccine. I have family members who hopefully did. But to label someone a public enemy, to label someone as inhuman, to label them as selfish, to label them as a danger to society because they've not done so, is wrong. It's wrong. And that's where I'm going to end this. That's where I'm going to end that topic. Been playing a lot of retro games lately, including NCAA Football 2005 and 2014, PS2 and PS3 respectively. Been playing some Tech Mobile, and that's about as retro as you can get. Nintendo, a Nintendo Entertainment System, Super NES. I can archive the stream where I did the Tech Mobile, and I can put it on my YouTube channel. If you guys got any more content requests, do let me know. You can find me streaming live at twitch.tv slash vol for life 8657. Go ahead and subscribe. I really would appreciate that if you guys subscribed to that channel and followed it. I don't stream all the time, but I really do try to. I've got a couple of jobs that I do, and I need to stay on top of those. But again, this Thursday, Madden 22, August 19th, The Veil, The Shadow of the Crown. First ever audio game on the Xbox. It has never been done before. This will be the first. November the 5th, Forza Horizon 4. August, 20, August the 20th itself, Madden 22 is officially released. I hope to do some daily blitzes on release date for you guys. And I'm also checking into some other things as well. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Vol for Life 8657 signing off. And go Big Orange. <laughs>